The USO and event sponsor Giant Food hosted a chili cook-off this week. The cook-off is the latest in a series of food-related events sponsored by the grocery store chain. This year, the judges deemed Maria Rodriguez's traditional chili as the best. Hello and welcome to Meat Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, some not-so-great news from Gaffney Gym. Yes. An education fair is coming up and a look at this year's Black History Month observance. Those stories and more, but first, Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Michael Sapp recently hosted the first in a series of events that are being termed community socials. More on what the socials are in a moment, but first, Colonel Sapp used this initial forum to address another incident at a Fort Meade school involving a student and a firearm. What I just need to make sure everyone knows is there was another teenage gun incident that occurred in the Meade Cluster schools. In this case, it was a Meade High student who was a Fort Meade resident. So what I, I can't go into details. There's an ongoing investigation, and of course it's a juvenile. Uh, but what I, what I can tell you is that we did take action today, and that student is barred from the installation and will not have access to this installation. After addressing the school incident, the colonel explained what the community socials are meant to do. This is part of an ongoing effort to really reach out directly to the community to make sure that all of us that support all of you can also get into the community, make ourselves accessible, available to direct questions, more meaningful discussions than just a couple chats back and forth, but also it, it provides a forcing mechanism to get us out into the community too, so we can see firsthand some of the issues that we see pop up during the town halls. If the residents of Midway Common and Muse Forest miss this first social, please note that housing residents can attend any in the series. The next one is scheduled for March 1st at Reese Crossings. The series continues every other Wednesday through March. In MWR news, the Gaffney Fitness Center announced this week that due to staffing shortages, the pool will have to temporarily close on March 22nd. Unit training held Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays from 6.30 to 8.30 a.m. An active duty lap swim on Wednesdays and Fridays from 11 to 1 will be on hold until new staff is hired. Gaffney officials say that the hiring process is underway and hopefully the closure will not last long. Elsewhere, we shift over to the Club Mead for this year's African American Black History Month observance. Sergeant First Class Randall White and Staff Sergeant Anthony Pochetti from the U.S. Army Field Band performing a Donny Hathaway song at this year's Black History Month observance. This year's observance, sponsored by the 7th Signal Command, features guest speaker Brigadier General Janine Burkhead, the Assistant Adjutant General of the Maryland National Guard. In her remarks, the general talked about the contributions of unheralded individuals in the struggle for equal rights, likening those contributions to an insurmountable wave. The insurmountable momentum of the black American experience reminds me of the power of a wave. A wave is merely a collection of water droplets until it is met by the wind, and the wind gives that energy. Be that wind. As thoughtful, committed citizens, you can create the energy to make the change. Realize American values are rights for all Americans. We'll have more on Black History Month from the Army Field Band's Jazz Ambassadors in a moment, but first a brief closing reminder. The Fort Meade Education Center is staging a community education fair on Wednesday, March 15th from 10 to 2.30 at the McGill Training Center. You can learn about all the various college programs available to new and returning students. More than 40 schools have been invited to attend. That's March 15th at the McGill Training Center. And that's Mead Week for this week. We close with a portion of a video produced by the Army Field Band for Black History Month. You can watch the entire video on the Army's YouTube page. Until next time, I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.